think about how you tell that story. So again, continuity is a big issue. The other issue here is, is what's called crossing the line. So if I start out here, looking at them like this, Terry's on the right, Trina's on the left. When I come into here with the camera, on the screen, Terry's still on the right, Trina's on the left. If I went to this side to make this shot, I would have done what's called crossing the line. Now Terry is on the left rather than on the right. This is very important. Got right. it? This is going to happen on location, so, gang. So, okay. so you never, so whatever the, this is also the reason why you do the wide shot first. Because back here, you see, oh, all right. I see Terry's on the right, Trina's on the left. Great. That means when I come up here to do this shot, I can't ever go to here. I can go to here. I can go to here. I can go to here. But I can't ever go to here. Unless that's the point. And that happens as well. Oftentimes how that works is it would be something like this. Wide shot, wide shot, watching it happen, watching it happen, watching it happen, camera's moving, camera's moving, camera goes <laughs> to here. Or on this shot, as we're watching Trina and she's explaining the reason why she's teaching the class this way to Terry, we go like this and we get to here and now at that point in the conversation, all the shots of Terry can come from this side. But you gotta make that happen in the story. You can't just decide arbitrarily, okay, I'm gonna shoot from this side. I mean, you can, but you know, the audience is gonna have a little hard time keeping up with the story at that point. Yeah. So when you showed up in the morning to shoot this scene, mm -hmm. you looked at a storyboard. Yes. That's the first thing he right. sees. Right? right? Every shot on a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard or something. And everybody looks at it, right? So that everybody knows uh, yeah. what they're doing that day.